Oh, it almost hit it. Wow. Ooh, I got to keep my robe closed because there's it's a hairy forest you know under there. <laughs> Here, this is what this is made for. <laughs> yeah, it's like a Put that right it's like a Star Trek thing. Like that would be an, a, a Star Trek alien. It's like a guy who's a totally human except he has like a silver chest. That's the way they did like aliens. What planet are you from, sir? Would you like to go to the holodeck? They've, they've got. <laughs> they, they, is it? It's like a come on line. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that. you should really take that chest to the holodeck. <laughs> My chest is a holodeck, you jerk. Uh, uh, j just so you know, I've, that's what ties are gonna look like in the future. That's what Spencer's gonna be this wearing. This is the facial man. Like ten, in ten years, every day he's gonna come to work with <laughs> with one of those on. Um, just so you know. This is shoved into my belly button right now. So. <laughs> that's, that's how ties of the future work. The hinge point, the anchor point is, is the, the belly, belly button. button. Wow. I'm I, afraid it might get a little damp. Mm. Mm. I, <laughs> mm. I feel a little loopy. It's fine. A little fine. loopy after uh, holding yeah. my breath for that long. I'm, I think I made myself a little stupider now. Oh, that's what I was saying. I'm over oxygenated. Nothing wrong with you. can't be over oxygenated. It's like having too much fun. Well, you can also I have too much fun. I can never have too, too much, much fun. fun. Too much fun, that what's Joe that Diffie? mean? It's like too much bacon, or too tight jeans. Who, who sang that song? I don't know, some, I don't know. Some, some guy. Google that, somebody. So, so I, uh, too, too, too much, much fun. fun. I ain't never country had too music. much fun. It's a country music sure artist. everybody in the audience. Who? <laughs> Singletary, Daryl Singletary. Daryl Singletary, man. What's he up to? Daryl, call us, baby. Hey, Daryl Singletary, to? you can't have too much fun. Are you having too much fun now? Come have some fun when you're in the more. Why? Why are you? Why are you talking smack to Daryl Singletary? That's a great song. No, no, no. I mean, I just I was inviting him to out for a good time. Too much fun. Can you can you read the lyrics to me? Too much fun. The chorus, please. Too much fun. What's that mean? It's like too much something, too no much such fun. thing. What's that mean? It's like too much money, there's no such thing. It's like a girl too pretty with too much class, being too lucky, a car too fast. No matter what they say I've done, well, I ain't never had too much fun. Oh. That's, man, that's like poetry. Well, it's a song, <laughs> which is a musical. Let me look, tell look you. Look at what's happening now. <laughs> Oh, geez. you can barely tell because the robe is the same color as your body. I'm gonna tell you a too story. Too much robe, what's that mean? It's like. I'm gonna tell you a story of a time I had too much fun in a hospital. <laughs> I'm loopy too. Oh, this man, is gonna I be got great. too much oxygen. Woo. I, that's a, that's a, that record, 328. That's a record, man. Kudos. I mean, get, get, who else is on the internet is gonna break that record? I challenge. No, I can't do that because they might hurt themselves. You do it at your own risk. But if you're a if you're a popular YouTuber who has insure, is insured, uh, I challenge you to beat my breath holding record. I want to hold the YouTube record three minutes and twenty eight seconds. I'm not going against David Blaine. I'm not going against that French dude. I bet you Glozelle can hold a mean piece of breath. <laughs> oh, really? I bet you she can. Glozelle, I challenge you to the breath holding challenge. <laughs> okay. Um, Spe that trick that I showed you. Her lips are already green. I don't know if you, if I used that technique before or after I used it on me. This thing happened that I'm about to tell you. Um, so at let some me, point, on. are you telling me, can I tell the story? You weren't there. I know, that's why I was asking. No, you can't tell it. Right, because I wasn't there. Yeah. My brother taught me that technique and he taught me that technique at Summer Winds. Any of you from Emerald Isle, Atlantic Beach, uh, North that. Carolina, down there on the not really the Outer Banks, but you know it is. It's Emerald Isle, North Carolina. There's a resort, a condo. Yeah, we used to stay at the Oak Grove Motel, which is still there. I drove by it a few weeks ago, actually, when we were uh, back home for a little bit. And my parents, we used to stay in the Oak Grove Motel, and that was one of those places that says Color TV on the marquee sign. Yeah, and we would stay there in two double beds for a week. My family of four. That's how you vacation in like the eighties, right? One room, one four room, people. four people, and uh, it was like <laughs> it was the best thing ever. I didn't realize how weird it was. Um, but then one year, my dad was like, 
Bed smelled funny, didn't it? We're going to splurge, man. We're going to summer winds. Summer winds. Frank Sinatra. We each get our own bedroom. Well, you know, me and Cole got a bedroom. And my parents got a bedroom. The summer winds. But they had jacuzzis down there around the pools, beachside. And this is where you did the jacuzzi trick well, on me, I believe. Cole figured out that you could go under and get on the bubble part and just breathe in the bubbles. Now it tasted like poison. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like, what is going through that which, system? Which is not a red flag. Just keep sucking it down. But he was man. just like, man, you can hold your breath for as long as you want. And, and you see a lot of visions we, too. We used this for two reasons. Number one was they didn't like the children to be in the hot tub for too long, and the lifeguard would come around and tell you to get out. And so Cole said, listen, when we see the lifeguard coming, we go down, we get on the bubbles, and he leaves. Like a teat. <laughs> An air teat. <laughs> I told you we're loopy. It's, we're over oxygen. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Well. You know what just happened? <laughs> About five things just happened in rapid succession. <laughs> See that in slow mo. Ah. Okay, well, what started that chain of events? <laughs> a big piece of spit came off of your mouth. Well, before that, it was the teat. <laughs> so we were talking about you said teat. <laughs> I said air teat. And, and then, then, it had an arc I, on it. It was I, coming uh, right from my hand. I tried, I, to, <laughs> I tried to get my hand out of the way. And, and you I, stick it. <laughs> Good thing I got a robe on. <laughs> the mug went up and you like caught the mug. What in the world? Uh, okay. Ah. Wow. So anyway, I was on the air teat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, so the next thing that happened was, is there was there was a couple of girls, and I was probably like 12 or 13 years old, and this girl was probably like 15. Ooh. So it was way out of my league, but. So you saw her walking towards the hot <laughs> tub? Uh, <laughs> no, we saw her around, and, okay. and she, she was my brother's age, but that didn't matter to me. And, uh, like, I didn't know what I was gonna do. I couldn't even talk to her. But I was like, you know what we could do? We could do that air teat thing. We didn't call it air teat, <laughs> that's just a day. We could do that air teat thing <laughs> and then we'll be in the hot tub on the air teat. <laughs> and she'll get into the bathtub with her this friends. This is so wrong. Bathtub, no sorry, jacuzzi. <laughs> and this is so wrong. When she gets up, when, no, when she's in there for a while, then we'll come up. And then what? As if that wasn't the creepiest thing ever. Like the swamp man. Like I was 12, I thought it would be cool to like impress a girl by like waiting 10 minutes after she's been in a hot tub and like come up right next to her like, like, <laughs> like the creature from the bl Black, Black Lagoon. Lagoon coming up in your jacuzzi. Um, you, you ran this plan by your brother? I don't know who came up with it, but we both executed it. You really? Yeah. <laughs> so you saw the girls coming. And you were like, all right, let's go down. And you went and you hid down underwater and they get in. Yeah. And you wait for like 10 minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. And you then slowly pop up. Emerge. And then what did you say? Nothing. <laughs> nothing? Had nothing. I thought Cole was gonna talk. He was the old one. <laughs> he said nothing. He had no game either. Did you sit there? Or did you get out? They left. They left, of course they left. In a running fashion, right? <laughs> They're like, who are these kids? They probably left their- Who are these little kids that have been on the air teat the whole time we've been sitting in this hot tub? I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it for any reason. I mean, how did the cops show up after that? No. Or were you back down on the- I didn't go back to the air teat anymore. I haven't been on an air teat since. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, I'm not seeing that term anymore, but you've said it a lot since we came up with it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so anyway, and you know, since then I've been I mean, in that, a lot of hot tubs and they don't, it doesn't work the same way what anymore. You, you, you know why it doesn't work the same can way Can I tell you what you should have said? Okay, go ahead. What you should have said, you should have come up really slowly, you should have <clears> been <throat> back, you should have been like, you know, where are we? Because I just came from uh, like 50 miles inland. Like <laughs> name a, <laughs> yeah, 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 name yeah, like yeah, a yeah. city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I just came from Raleigh. That's what I would do now. <laughs> right. Yeah. Mm. But I just, you know. Or you could have just been like, I'm just, I'm a, I'm a deep diver. I'm a, I was looking for conch shells. In the bottom of the hot tub. 
<laughs> you can't do that. I came now, from the ocean. <clears throat> because I wanted to, I, just forget I said this, but I wanted to teach my children this technique. Not so they could use it on, on, on girls, but just because it's a fun way to impress your friends if you can find the air teat. But the hot tubs don't work that way anymore. The jet of air has bubbles in it. But there's air, so I mean the, water coming the, out. Yeah, yeah, the old school ones had separate little holes for the uh, bubbles. And maybe there are some of those out there, but the new school ones, it's just if you turn on the jets and the bubbles, it it comes from the same place. I, I mean, I, I went, I put my mouth all around the bottom of a hot tub trying to find it, <laughs> I couldn't find the air teeth. You know. <laughs> That's how you found out. <laughs> I'm joking. You I sucked down some I water? I couldn't find the, uh, where the bubbles were. <laughs> I used my hands, I didn't use my mouth. <laughs> oh. 